My name is Amanda, and I am a spouse of a correctional officer. Hi, I'm Larissa. I'm the proud mom of a paramedic and volunteer firefighter, and I'm also the spouse of a veteran. Yeah, my name's Ian, and my husband is a paramedic. A few years after he started working in corrections, there was a noticeable difference in his demeanor as well as his perspective of the world. So there was certainly a lot of confusion for my children. They, they didn't know why dad was angry all the time. Communication's always been pretty natural between the two of us. However, uh, definitely there were times where I thought it was me or um, that there was some tension within the household and not knowing where the frustration was coming from or spending time saying, you know, what is it that's wrong or what did I do? Um, the, the questions that are not necessarily healthy for helping him deal with what he's dealing with. Um, how post-traumatic stress injuries impacted our family is that, um, as a matter of fact, my husband is a veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces and was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, my son does not have a diagnosis or a post-traumatic stress injury, but it's still something that um, the whole family has been exposed to. We understand the, you know, the symptoms and the behaviors, and we try and be supportive of um, of my spouse, um, but also have everyone else is impacted. One of the supports that I accessed a lot of was my parents, who are both retired from corrections as well, and just having their perspective on what he was dealing with really helped me because. I didn't know that world. I think a message I'd like to share with other families who might be going through PTSI is, number one, you're not alone. Um, I think a lot of families are impacted by post-traumatic stress injury and they don't know maybe necessarily understand what's happening or they think that they're the only ones going through it. So for that reason, I would encourage family members to reach out and connect with other first responder families. Um, they're really the only other ones who are going to understand what you're going through. Other people are dealing with it too. You don't have to be that hero. It's not just me and it's not just him. It's, it's himself, it's myself, it's his family, it's friends, it's peers, people that understand what he's going through, but also people, sometimes you want to talk to somebody who doesn't understand what you're going through because uh, they don't bring baggage to what you're going through and it's always a different person so having a very strong support network um, is is key for him I think it affects the whole family